Hey gang, Jason here for the love of tractors. So I was gonna do a live video on this, but then I thought, uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, and it's gonna be a lot of stumbling around and stuff, and uh, so that may not make for a great live video. We still may do a live video on something similar to this later, but all right, here it is, Dogtown Farms. Uh, so I made it on a rolly cart. Uh, I put some, some four inch casters under there, it rolls like a dream here on this concrete floor. Uh, the reason being, so I can access all sides of the display because it is eight feet by four feet uh, and then we're going to do a uh, four by four uh, kind of l piece on the side which is going to be interchangeable so um, that's going to be cool i think and it's exciting because it's going to allow me to do almost everything i want to do uh, on my model farm so some of you guys might be thinking what is that so nice grain setup for one. Uh, I, ha I had one years and years and years ago. I had a really nice grain setup. I was proud of it. Um, grain bin setup. And uh, over the years, I just downsized it. And then in, if you guys might remember on the last uh, kind of iteration of Dogtown, it kind of got relegated to the corner and it just didn't get used. So huh, anyway, so that's what I'm going to work on today. And I've been debating on where to put it. So this is the four by eight sheet. So this is kind of the main uh, static piece of this farm, if you will, because, um, there we go, I'm kind of in the frame better here, <laughs> because uh, this part won't be interchangeable. So um, I debated on, do you make the, the grain bin setup a part of the interchangeable part? Uh, that makes sense to me in a lot of ways, but what didn't make sense there is, uh, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of fragile parts to it, especially when I get catwalks and ladders and things like that done. And I think moving that around because what I've got, and, and I'll show you this table once it's all finished up. Um, what I've got is like a, sh a shelving system down here to pull out four by four sheets of, of plywood or a farm toy display board. And then they will be able to go on that, that four by four section that I talked about. So that is kind of, you know, that. So step one of building a farm toy display is obviously to get you a table of some sort. Now you can go to the, uh, length I did and build your own and um, I'll kind of show you more of that once it's sort of completely finished with all of that shelving unit and stuff we'll kind of discuss that but for right now I'm just kind of dying to get something going on that's this display I mean obviously I'm a long way from laying down any uh, grass any trees or anything like that but I'm getting my basic layout out and that's, that's why I've kind of got this plethora of buildings and I'll be honest, most of these uh, are not going to be used right now, certainly. And I'm not sure, some of these may go on the 4x4 four four sheets. Um, so I'm hoping to do four of those, which gives me a lot of leverage. So here's the idea. Main Dog Town Farms, you guys are familiar with it. Um, you know, let's call it mid-sized, Midwest row crop operation. So uh, corn, soybeans, wheat, combines you know, semi-trucks, tractors with some tillage, uh, you know, rippers, things of that nature, so on and so forth. I like four-wheel drives. Obviously, we're going to run some four-wheel drives. Uh, probably, um, this is going to shock you guys, probably Steigers, <laughs> probably the Red Ones, though, because we're, we're talking to our farm here. And then um, the next, you know, so, so that's going to be the farm. Um, so the question is, I guess... Is that permanent on this board, or do I sort of make Dogtown home base one of those 4x4s that I can pull out? And I'm kind of debating on doing that, actually, but uh, we'll see. So I have decided I for sure want this grain leg here. Um, the other 4x4 ideas are I want to do a seed and fertilizer dealership slash chemical dealership. So, uh, you know, obviously seed corn, things of that nature. Um, it will have, you know, fertilizer. So we'll have tanks. We'll have, we'll have like uh, freezing bins and things like that, or whatever you guys call these up your way, where you guys are at. Um, what did I just set that on? Oh my, my marketing utilities and things of that nature. And then um, I would like to have a um, a specialty crop, if you will. I'm not going to tell you guys what that is just yet. Some of you might be able to guess. If you kind of reach in the way back machine and look at things I've done in the past, uh, kind of on the internet, uh, as far as some of the builds I've done, but um, I want to do a specialty crop of some sort, 
And then uh, I want to have hay of some sort, like a haying operation, not a big time, just a kind of old school uh, tractor baler, you know, guys putting up some hay. Maybe we'll have uh, some forking hay on, you know, some maybe we'll do a little bit bigger bale uh, on part of that. So I don't know, but anyway, the point is, um, even though I'm a little ways away from laying down anything permanent here, it's time to start planning. Uh, so this four by eight sheet, originally, um, I drew this upstairs at the new house, and I wasn't thinking that really this, I, I probably should have put this in that corner because that's gonna be the sort of northwest corner of the, the building, sort of the farthest away from you come in. So the idea when you're building a farm toy display or train layout or something like that is you have to kind of plan where your eye goes. So, and your eye will go from short, ideally in the foreground, to taller in the background. So that's something to think about um, when you're building. So for example, if this is your front up here, if this is where most people are going to stand all the time, you don't want your grain bins here because they're gonna be looking over them and they're probably going to miss a lot of the details on the shorter, smaller stuff behind you. So that's something to think about anyway. Um, but one, I've got a rolling, I've got a rolling table here. So that allows me some freedom to put things where I want them. And then two, I have a plan for something else over there at Taller, and it's just a landscaping thing, um, and it kind of goes with the story of Dogtown a little bit, but um, it's going to be, you know, roughly probably the size of the green bins, tall-wise, and so that's the ideal place for it, I think. We'll see. <laughs> so, obviously we've got our table, we've got some foam. Now, I've got a thicker piece of foam under it. One, that's just for support, because right now I don't have any plywood down. Uh, and I'm actually debating on not using plywood. I'm debating on just running some two by fours across, enough to support the weight of this foam. But I'm not sure that's a great idea, so I'm just kicking that around right now. Um, anyway, so that's that. And then the thicker, the thicker foam, foam, the, the thicker foam will go on top of this, and um, this will be used for sculpting, landscaping, things like that. Now, you can do this with a thinner foam. Foam? Why do I keep saying foam? Hmm. Having a day. The thicker, the thinner foam, you know, that will have things too, like ditches for the side of the uh, roads and things of that nature. That'll be cut right into this. But for the most part, the, the thicker foam, got it that time, will be used for making elevation. So... And that's something, I'll be honest, I haven't done a lot of in the model farm world is elevation. Now, I did have a few drainage ditches and things like that in the old display. But this is way more involved, especially with what I want to do. I want to do some gentle rolling hills and things of that nature um, to kind of uh, better represent uh, real farming. Now, where we, we farm, actually, we're in the, the river bottoms of the Mississippi River here in Illinois. And it's flat as a pancake there. But as is most of Illinois, actually. Um, so probably my big main fields will still be flat, uh, at least for the Dogtown portion. But like I said, I've got I want to experiment with hills and things of that nature just to kind of give it a look. And like I said, train that eye to go places I want it to go. So um, I hope this isn't bothering you with me being slightly out of the frame of the camera. Uh, my workbench is the tallest thing I have right now down here, and you know there's still a lot of construction going on. So, um, but I was far enough along to do this, and I've got a free half hour tonight or so, so I wanted to do it. Okay, I've rambled on enough about the introduction. So, step one, I guess after you've built your table, is figuring out where things go. So now that's where these come in, markers, and I got two different colors just because. Um, you know, you never know. Tape measure, because you got to. And then I, I highly suggest some of the buildings and things that you're going to have. Now, obviously, I don't have, uh, I have a couple full grain bins, but I don't have the full grain set up here right now, and that's okay. Um, I don't need it. I just need the rings to make sure I know what I want. So, you can't probably see it too well. In fact, I'll bring, I'll bring it over here. So this cord also, by the way, I apologize for that, but uh, the electricity situation down here stinks. And I've got to run some electrical. Uh, right now we only have one uh, three-prong outlet in the whole basement, which is kind of goofy, but we'll get that fixed pretty quick, especially with this weather turning cooler. 
two or three today for the high, 66 tomorrow. So there's going to be a lot more in time time, in time, uh, time soon, inside time soon. Not speaking well tonight. I promise I'm not having a stroke. Um, so anyway, this will, <laughs> this will kind of give you an idea uh, of just some of the markings I've done here. And I will, uh, I'll start setting bins on and things like that to kind of give you a better idea. But so here's a little secret, I guess, or a little uh, reveal. I'm going to put a rail spur in. Now it's not going to be an operating railroad or anything like that. It's not, you know, this isn't going to be a rail out, uh, layout, but I'm going to put an S scale, 164 scale rail track through here with a couple hopper bottom trains uh, because that's pretty typical of how most grain gets moved here in the Midwest, uh, especially in our neck of the woods, except for when the rivers are open. And this year was tricky as far as rivers because of flooding. But um, that I thought was really cool. And I actually, at one point, I kind of dreamed up doing a river scene uh, with, with the river and have a barge there and filling that. But it just it's just not going to happen anytime soon. Maybe someday, though. All right. So... Originally, I had placed these differently. Like I put them, so I'll just kind of show you. And I know you're far away, but I think you can get the idea. So I've done something like this. So we're, I'm kind of alternating the big standy bins, or at least what I call the big standy bins. I know they have that, they have that massive bin, but that's too big for me. Um, so originally, I kind of, oops, this guy goes here. I kind of had something like this sort of figured out, right? So three big bins, two small bins. And, you know, so this wasn't going to be a huge elevator necessarily. This isn't like a giant ADM facility or something like that. But, um, you know, I, it's, it was appropriate and somewhat similar to what you'd see around here in some of the smaller communities or, you know, kind of smaller towns that have uh, some grain facilities. But... What I decided ultimately on is I've got a space here for a bin, and I've got one here, and you just have to use your imagination here. Let's go ahead and stick that down there. I don't know why, but I just like that. Um, there. Then we'll do this here. And then what I did is I took my magic marker and I, I traced around them, so that way I know where those are going to go. And then... I decided I need, I'm going to need a way to load this rail, and I measured out the rail. I, I found a, some measurements online of what S scale rail is and what an S scale hopper car is, and so on and so forth. So I measured that out, and then I made where the rail's going to come in. And it's going to terminate, you know, somewhere in this area. Or I may even have it just go straight through. I don't know yet. Not for sure. But we'll find out. <laughs> That's the great thing about this. Right now we're on phone, we're not doing anything permanent. We can change this a million ways, and I, and I hope in this video you guys will give me some ideas on what I need to be doing, or you know some ideas on what to do. So anyway, so rail spur here. I'm going to need a way to load it, so that's going to be here, uh, kind of this area. Obviously, come up and we'll load bins, and then let me move it's the old Dogtown shop. I mean, that's certainly going to get used. I love it. It's one of my favorite buildings. Oh hey, I, I forgot I brought another. Another bin cap out of storage today. So, anyway, now I'm way back here, so uh, I apologize if it's a little bit far away, but it looks like on camera it's okay. I'm just gonna grab a semi. I thought my pit would be right here. So, like a hopper bottom, bot -botter, hopper bottom trailer would come in here and dump. Now, one of the things I really struggled with on the last display, on my last few displays, actually, is like I felt like you needed to see all the roads and everything coming into, for example, a bin or a building or something like that. And then I realized that you really don't. So this this uh, hopper bottom, or this, this road, you know, this little access to the pit here, it's just going to come off the road, off the, the table here and go go nowhere. We just have to use our imagination, and, and that's fine. There's no uh, no problem with that. And I don't know why in the past I thought, you know, I would have probably looped this around, taking up easily a half a foot or more of my display booth just so I didn't have a, a road to nowhere. 
And then it kind of hit me this time around, that's, why, who cares if the road goes to nowhere? Um, <laughs> we're, we're pretending anyway, aren't we? We're kind of making it up as we go, so there's that. Um, so anyway, I think the pit's going to be here, and then we'll have a tower here, or a leg, I guess is what, it would, what we would call it, and that's going to be a standing leg, and then I'm going to detail it out myself. Um, I know there's some kits out there and things like that, but they're kind of pricey. I'd love to get my hands on one, but I, they're just not in my budget, to be honest with you. And I think I can do a nice job on a leg. Um, so, so anyway, we're going to have a leg there. And I was, I don't know, I was debating on having a hopper bin like this to load trucks from there, but I'm just not sure yet how that's going to work. So anyway, I think that is kind of the plan uh, for the grain bins here. Then we've got... You know some sheds whatever for example so now this is a this is a small grain terminal we're gonna have to have an office so let's this is a little big but let's let's pretend this is the office right now I know it's a lean-to but um, so that may be the office the question is and I really yeah I really think that is too big I think I kind of think the office needs to kind of sit in here you know that way the trucks can come out they can weigh uh, they can get their tickets on and so forth. But the question is, I'm gonna put a third ring on these bins, uh, height, but should I keep going or should we just kind of call that good and we can use this space for something else? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's, it's a little bit of my holdup, but I'm gonna draw in where I think this office should go real quick. And I kind of figured that I would just make kind of a small, little four by four space here for the office. Now you may be wondering what the heck this is. So this, this is, this is, boy, it's, I'm really struggling speaking today. Uh, so this is a scale. And so how did I make this scale? Scratch built, flat sheet of styrene, a little textured gray concrete paint, I think is what it was called. You can just get it at Farm Supply, Home Depot, wherever you go. And then another flat piece of styrene around the outside, it just kind of looks like curbing, and boom, you have a scale for your semi-trucks. And so obviously the trucks will have to weigh coming on and off the scale, so I've got to find a place to make that happen. So this truck's actually probably facing the wrong way, but that's okay. For right now, we're not worried about it. But anyway, you can see, truck fits perfect on my scale. So I'm thinking the scale house is in this neighborhood right now, roughly. We'll, we'll see though, obviously some playing to go on still. So that leaves us with some big decisions for tonight. Uh, I'm about to wrap it up, we're 20 minutes into this thing and uh, it's getting late, it's dark outside, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> um, the big things to think about tonight for me are, do we extend this rail all the way over? Do we extend the grain bins all the way over? If we extend the grain bins all the way over, do we keep this staggered look going, or do you just line them up sort of normal? Um, I don't have an answer to that just yet, to be honest with you. So that's something I'm thinking about, and hopefully that goes well. <laughs> hopefully we can come to a resolution there. And then another thought I, I had, although this is, this, is, this is not something I'm really looking forward to doing, is do we make concrete bins here. So it's like the old elevator part with the concrete bins, and then we've got the new sort of expansion part with the sandy metal bins. I don't know. Those are thoughts in my head right now though. So obviously landscaping around here will be a lot of gravel because most uh, most places, most grain elevators I've been to anyway, the lots are all gravel. Uh, there may be some grass around the bins. We'll probably put some weeds in there and things like that. I'll do a video uh, eventually showing you how to make weed tufts out of static grass, it's super easy and they look cool. Uh, and you can save money that way by not having to buy, buy tufts, tufts, tufts. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's that. All right guys, like I said, we're going on 20 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. Uh, just kinda wanted to get this laid out, show you guys a little bit what's happening. Uh, I will try again, maybe this weekend to, uh, to plan out some more of this. Uh, I've got to figure out where my road, my main road's gonna go. I want a road, I want a nice bridge, you know, not like a 
big river bridge, but I want a decent bridge crossing a decent sized stream because that's really common where we're at. I mean, it's probably really common where everybody's at. Um, <laughs> I want, um, you know, a cool rocky creek or a stream running through the display at some point. I want on this main display um, a pretty decent sized field for tillage, a pretty decent sized field, uh, you know, to have, so two pretty decent sized fields, let's say. Um, and I kind of have an idea how I'm going to do those, but we'll see. And then, again, the question is, do we make something on that far end uh, more per like the permanent home for Dogtown Farms, or do we do that on one of the four by four displays? So that's something I'm thinking about. That's something I would welcome your input on, to be honest with you guys, if you guys want to shoot me an idea over. So, okay, guys, sorry about kind of the darkness and the weirdness here. Um, like I said, the electric situation in this basement is weird and I've got to fix it and I will get it fixed soon, I hope. Um, I think it's just a matter, like I, I, there's a four like there's a four outlet thing here and I, I think it's like the only outlet on the whole circuit. So I don't, I think it's just tying into that thing and running some more. Uh, but I did get my first work light up today and um, I, I want to get one here. So here's my workbench and then I want to get at least one over here. And honestly, as dark as it's looking right now, with just one. I'm probably gonna have to get one over here too. Uh, you can't see over here, but right now it's some pegboard. That's where most of my tools are gonna be and then where that little four by four is gonna be. So anyway, I'm gonna roll this back a little bit so I can get to the camera. As always guys, I appreciate you watching. This is just the start. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it was fun to watch. Um, I'm super excited about where this goes and I always want your input, of course. So uh, it means a lot to me guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a great day. Treat each other well. Happy tractor hunting.